Hey guys, how's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 25th, 2024. And God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news when it comes to Nation against Nation. It says here, WW3 could start within hours as North K units make move despite groundless claims. Even Alex uh, is posting videos. North K declares biblical war on Sleeping Giant in major WW3 escalation. You have Jamie worries WW3 has already begun. All right, so we have tons of breaking news when it comes to nation against nation. This is some serious stuff here, guys. And uh, as we get closer and closer to November, we are about to see something spark. Uh, it's either the Middle East, Ukraine, North Korea, South Korea, China. I mean, something is about to hit the fan. So brutal warning sent to North K over troops in the bear country as WW3 fears explode. All right, guys, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, we're going to get to all this breaking news here, guys. I just want to show you some of this stuff here. Uh, the Telegraph is posting their information. The biblical war in Crane is about to become WW3. You see what's going on here? All these messages, WW3. Here's another one. The bear deploying strategic nuclear forces as regular infantry in Crane, October 23rd, 2024. Give me a second here, guys. I'm going to have to block this next screen here. I have to. Well, not this one. Uh, I can show this one here. The Red Dragon enlarging nuclear forces with eye on America. Mm, that is not good. <sighs> okay, so this one here, this is a... Uh, this is not war, but uh, this uh, artificial intelligence swarm of UFOs spotted near Indiana Air Force Base. A 20 mile long mothership was detected weeks ago. All right, so we have more breaking news. Mm hmm. All this technology and all this type of stuff, you can't take that mothership down. Hmm. Supposedly, we have the best military in the world. And we can take stuff like that down and prove to the world we, we got the aliens. Okay, this one here. I cannot show this picture because it's, you know, uh, Mrs. Hillary. <clears throat> 33,000, you know what, emails. Okay, Mrs. 33,000 emails just claimed that Donna is headed to Madison Square Garden this weekend to enact the 1930. Oh my goodness, these people. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, these people. Can you people just stop? It, it seems like they love this man. Uh, again, the one from 1940-something, you know, the one that, uh, the mustache. It seems like they love him. They love him so much. I mean, they keep bringing up his name. Oh, my. This is a... The reason why they're saying these stuff is because November's around the corner and they want to kind of uh, deceive many people. You're going for a guy that looks and support like the one with the mustache. I'm not going to say his name. But, uh, okay, so, Mrs. 33,000 email just claimed that the 4-5 is headed to Madison Square Garden this weekend to reenact the 1939, again, the, the NZI rally. 
according to Mrs. 33,000 emails. Supporting Donna makes you, ooh. So Mrs. 33,000 emails said, if anyone goes to Madison Square Garden to see him, you are also a N-A-Z-I. How dare you call Sleeping Giant? Again, the, the nerves, my goodness. Mrs. 33,000 email says, everyone who attend the 4-5 Madison Square Garden Rally on Sunday is a, look at that. It's a N-A-Z-I. Wow. She hurt my feeling. She hurt my feeling. How dare you compare me to them? Unbelievable. Man. Jeez, these people are, uh, these people really, really, really love bringing that dude's name up. So, Persia rating for biblical war with Holy Land as it braces for response to missile event. Okay, so so far this is uh this is all of it. But let me just bring this one up. Okay, we're gonna see what's going on with this story here. Okay, uh so WW three within hours, but let me just pull up this one really quick. So a brutal warning sent to North K over troops in the bear country as WW three fears explode. Now, once again, you have the U.S. said the situation was very, 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 very serious and could have worldwide security ramifications. Once again, the Sleeping Giant has said that any North case soldiers joining the bear war against Crane will be fair targets. Once again, the Sleeping Giant also said it believes that around 3,000 North K soldiers are currently undergoing military training in the Bear Country. The Sleeping Giant has said that any North K soldiers joining the Bear War against Crane will be fair targets. The Sleeping Giant also said it believes that around 3,000 North K soldiers are undergoing... Okay, for some reason, I guess he put this twice. All right, so I'm like, what's going on here? It's like deja vu stuff. I want to go with this story here. WW3 war could start within hours. I'm going to pull it up right now. Here we go. If you can, please share the video. Okay, so it says here, <clears throat> Ukrainian military's intelligence branch has sounded the alarm that North K soldiers are mere hours from joining the fray to support Vladimir forces. These soldiers under Kim command are expected to, to aid the bear efforts in reclaiming the Kursk region from Crane. You have this person here, I'm going to skip his name. Head of Crane Defense Ministry Main Intelligence Directorate is preparing for the arrival of the first unit in the Kursk direction as early as Wednesday. While specific on their numbers and equipment are not fully disclosed, GER Chief Lieutenant General uh, indicated to the Biblical War Zone that details would emerge shortly, alluding to a contingent of around 2,600 North K soldiers en route to the conflict zone. Jeez. Look at that. 
This again, guys. This is not a game. This is not a game. Uh, if people, again, not too many people take this serious. This is the real deal. I'm telling you, this is the real deal. You know how you have that nightmare and you wake up in the middle of the night sweating and all in fear? This is something like that. All right? This is something like that. The sad part is is that nobody see it like that. People think that, oh, Lewis, ain't nothing going to happen. Oh, Lewis, that's happening over there. Oh, Lewis, we okay. We are the sleeping giant. We are unstoppable. People have this great imagination that nothing is going to happen to us. Well, again, throughout scriptures, many nations and kingdoms have seen war, including the Holy Land. So don't act like you are Mr. Perfect, Sleeping Giant, because you're not. Eventually, missiles will hit the Sleeping Giant country sooner or later. Ukrainian leader Zelensky alerted his countrymen to the possibility of up to 12,000 enemy combatants, mentioning this in his regular address. Visuals from the Bear Country far east seem to show North Cape forces gearing up and undergoing training. However, Moscow remains silent on these movements. Now it says here you have a video capture, a voice exclaiming the handsome ally soldiers from North K have arrived. I hope the biblical war will now end. Zelens cautions about a significant troop buildup, revealing we have information about the preparation of two units of military personnel from North K, maybe even two brigades of 6,000. And this is a challenge, he told the news. Maybe you st if you stop asking, begging for money, None of this would happen. North K has rubbished claims that it's sending troops to the bear, labeling the report a groundless. However, South K intelligence insists that these troops are being used, excuse me, issued counterfeit military IDs to make them appear as if they hail from Siberian regions, Yakuntia and Varyntia. I really apologize if I said the name wrong. It says here in a separate development, Mr. Kim, the sister, or excuse me, Mrs. Kim, the sister of North K leader, Mr. Kim, has launched a scanning verbal assault on Crane, branding its citizen as bad dogs and lunatics. Whew. So the sister is, uh, you know, she's dropping some uh, very powerful message. She's calling Crane and she's calling others bad dogs and lunatics. Meanwhile, the Sleeping Giant Treasury Secretary Jeanette has uh, revealed that the Sleeping Giant is nearing the completion of a $20 billion payment to Crane, funded by Frozen of the Bear Assist, as reported by Political. All that money is going to that dude. Meanwhile, Florida, North Carolina, Hawaii, Lahaina, Hawaii, I mean, I mean, multiple, multiple states that have seen catastrophic events are being put last. We almost done with this one here. This is the final step here. Ukraine leader Zelensk, you know, the man that supposedly inspired the entire world according to Joe, well, um, has hinted at his aspiration for a peaceful resolution to the biblical war, suggesting that an agreement on energy security could be a step towards concluding the biblical war hot phase. He stated, a decision on energy security could be made. In other words, we do not strike the energy infrastructure. They do not strike ours. Could this lead to the end of the hot phase? Of the biblical war. I think so. Alright. So things are getting really, really hot. Once again, even Alex Jones is sounding the alarm. North K declares biblical war on sleeping giant. 
and a major WW3 escalation. Let's see what's going on with this story here. I I see everybody talking about this, and I just want to see what's what's happening in this one. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Ah, JP Morgan, Chase CEO. <clears throat> Jamie typically pays close attention to the workings of financial markets and the Federal Reserve. But today, its most important concern is geopolitics. The economic outlook is teeming compared to the geopolitical situation we face, he, hold, he told an audience Thursday at the Institute of International Finance's annual meeting in D.C. He lamented the biblical wars in Ukraine and the Mideast and the growing cooperation between the sleeping giant advisories, including the bear, the red dragon, North K, and Persia. They are clearly talking about dismantling the system. Ah, a little thing called the BRICS. All right, so that's the new bank. That's their stuff. They don't go by a sleeping giant dollar anymore. Our dollar is about to collapse. So they are clearly talking about dismantling the system set in place by the sleeping giant and its ally after WW2, which the uh, Demon credits, cre uh, credits as spawning an era of unprecedented global economic growth. Now, the reason why those countries came out with the BRICS is because they're getting hit with sanctions. So, they are doing their own thing. They don't want to be part of the sleeping giant system. So, in other words, the sleeping giants are self-destructing themselves. And meanwhile, other, other countries are just moving on and they're coming out with their own bank system. The risk is extraordinary, he said. WW3 has already begun... You have already, excuse me, you already have battles on the ground being coordinated in multiple countries. We want to give a big shout out to Joey for that. Uh, because ever since he came into the spotlight, he literally transformed the entire world. He, he has, guys. He has. He has. And by the way, he's not supposed to be the sleeping giant leader. Again, there are consequences when you take a spotlight that you didn't fairly win. And then you took us to this uh, new world, the biblical war, and f uh, you know all these gas prices and food prices just skyrocketing. Under his uh, term, ain't nothing been peaceful. He said that the warning management team and his bank have run scenarios that will shock you in terms of the possible economic implication of a geo uh, global conflict. The spirals out of control. That's one reason why the JP, let's skip all that information, said Thursday that nuclear proliferation is the biggest warning mankind faces, even ahead of the climate change. The leader of world's largest bank is a register LEFT. <coughs> Hope he's changed uh, change his ways, but has long had fans in both parties. Ones whose respect his business friendly public and reputation for competence. All right, so we're gonna skip the rest of this here. Everything seems like he's just gonna talk about some other stuff. But uh, again, even the most powerful people in the world are sounding the alarm. Everybody's just getting ready. Let's see what's going on with this story here. The bear deploying strategic nuclear forces as regular infantry in Crane. Now the bear capital is deploying soldiers from its strategic missile forces who typically specialize in the operation of nuclear weaponry to crane.
Now it says here, the deployment comes as the bear faces dwindling troops in its offensive against its neighbor. The soldiers are expected to serve as infantry, infantry, excuse me, in the bear invasion, according to, I'm going to skip that name, it's a Ukrainian media. All right, so the units were formed in late summer this year and deployed to combat the outlet reported. The report added that the units likely did not involve specialists directly responsible for the use of nuclear weaponry, but support personnel. Citing a bear activist group that outfitted the newly formed unit with equipment for the war, the news reported that the unit was given civilian Red Dragon radio stations as it had not been provided with necessary means of communications. It says here, the bear deployment of member of his strategic missile forces, truly apologize some of these videos, hopefully I don't get hit with copywriting, uh, strategic missile forces to booster its war efforts comes amid reports citing data from Crane's Ministry of Defense of heavy single day, you know what, I'm gonna skip that name. Both the bear and crane have been facing serious problems with personnel numbers. But crane has been losing more. After the supply of equipment replacing casual food is the second most important aspect for both sides in winning a war of attrition. Now it says here, the news has contacted the Bear and Cranian Defense Ministry for comment via email. Cranian official reported early on Wednesday that the Bear force forces lost 1,460 in a space of 24 hours, which could bring the Bear capital total losses of military personnel since February to 683,000. That number is not accurate. Absolutely not. It, it, it's just not accurate. This That is impossible. Now, remember, guys, this is Newsweek. This is a Western uh, article. Now, again, the bear, they put out their number. Their number is in the 80, possibly up to 120,000. Most, most of them is like injuries. But there is no way almost 700,000 bear soldiers are completely gone. That is just, again, that's the Western for you. Put it like this, it's like Harris giving you updates of the bear and she's saying that the bear soldiers are gone, you know, 700,000 has been wiped out. Again, be careful with some of the stuff. Um, now, the bear, they don't like to put out a lot of information. This is just Western assuming uh, soldiers that would, assuming 683,000 were taken out since February 2022. All right, so we're going to skip this one here. This is basically it for it. Give me a second. I want to read this one here really quick. A new Sleeping Giant Gov report this week shared updated estimate about the Red Dragon nuclear buildup linking it directly to the Red Dragon capital, competing with DC. Hmm. All right, let's take a break with the uh, Nation Against Nation. Let's see what's going on here, guys. I'm seeing everybody's talking about this one here. Okay, so artificial intelligence swarm of UFOs spotted near Indiana Air Force Base with 20 mile long mothership was detected weeks ago. Mm hmm. There's been reports that there were drones also, Virginia base, military base. Now, what is that? shouted one local who filmed the light. I think those are UFOs. And I really don't feel comfortable going to sleep tonight. Oh, come on, man. 
It could be drums. It could be it could be someone. It could be little Timmy, whatever, or it could be uh, you know someone just messing around. An Air Force base in Indiana has become the latest hotspot for mysterious UFOs after residents spotted swarms of fast-moving, glowing orbs in the sky. I believe those are drones. They're just uh, military drones. Dozens of people in Kokomo, which uh, sits just 30 miles south of Grissom, Joint Air Reserve Base, reported seeing hovering, flickering lights that vanish into the air. Like I said, I do believe it's uh, you know man-made, it's either drones or something. But uh, like I said, I don't believe when it comes to a uh, UFO. Those are things of the world. All right, guys. Let me go back on Twitter and see if there's any more information. Whoa. Oh, oh, Justin, you know, the guy from <coughs> Canada. Call uh, the MPs call for Justin. Resignation set October 28 deadline. Wow, in three more days. Justin is facing increasing pressure from within his own party. Wow. They are demanding his resignation by October 28th. Man, this would be good news, man. I mean, he got to go. <laughs> uh, during a closed-door meeting on Parliament Hill, this group told MPs voice their concern, calling for Justin to step down as their leader. The meeting, uh, the meeting part of the regular caucus session revealed growing discounted within the party. A document was presented outlining the case for his resignation, though no specific consequences were mentioned if Justin fails to meet the deadline. Just imagine that. All right, guys, it seems like this is all the information. And I will keep it updated when it comes to nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. We are seeing wars and rumors of wars and so many Bible prophecy events that's happening right in front of our faces. Like I said, these are exciting times. Now, again, you know, I know the title is going to be kind of a, you know, WW3 within hours again. Those are experts, those are people speaking out. And uh, again, there's gonna be mockers and scoffers in the comments box. Try to ignore them, all right? So, try to ignore them. Look, the Bible says that there will be great wars in the last days, there will be great shakening in the last days, there will be abominations rising in the last days, there will be persecution going on in the last days. Jesus said it's going to be a tough time for pregnant women and nursing mothers in the last days. There's going to be many things, the perilous times and perilous men in the last days. God is going to give up many in the last days, the reprobate mind, the debate's mind. So in these last days, there ain't going to be no Pocahontas and Kumbaya, my Lord. You know, again, Marcus and Scarf uh, keep thinking that we live in this perfect world. No, there's going to be some great events to come. At the same time, people need to start repenting and believing in Christ. For Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please share the video. For those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. 
Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.